Yeah. Okay, so another anti center case from the bottom. So the car is in side control top. Again, he might have this arm killed. Doesn't matter. But if this arm's trapped, I need to um, get it back to boxing hand position. So from there, I'll just do a slight bump, a bridge. Get this elbow back inside so my hands are here. Okay, so I'm going to drape my right hand between his legs. Okay, I'm going to turn my hip and get my right hip beside his right knee. So when I push his leg and straighten my right leg, I'm brought it as far as I can. I'm just going to step over and hook it with my left hook. Okay, now I need to get the underhook. So from this position, keep this foot on the mat. I'm going to do upa. I'm going to bridge all the way over and I'm bringing my elbow inside. And now I have the underhook again. So, same thing as before. I, I use that right elbow on his knee to get, make sure that I get the bite. Okay? So I want the back. Okay, this is my Achilles, just above the lower part of the shin. So, first sweep we learned last week, old school. I'm reaching through to grab this. Carl doesn't want me taking his back, so he'd probably stick a wizard, an overhook on that arm. If he hasn't the wizard on, I'll be in his back straight away, which we'll look at in a second. But, as I reach that, he posted his leg, so this should look familiar. I'm immediately going to hit the gear sweep. I move my hips under his to get the grip, but now, as I went to hit that sweep, He's released that wizard, that overhook. So now it's a free ride to the back. So from my hand, my underhook, I just bump him forward. As I come up, he's gonna turtle. I still have this underhook, but I still have this leech hook. So there's a couple of ways I can get on the back from here. Left hand still got the belt, right hand's posted on the mat. I'll use, I'll bring my right knee beside his right knee, and I use that leech hook to lift his knee up. And a windshield wiper, my foot inside, secure harness control, drop him onto his hip as I move my hips back, so I'm into my harness position. Again. So if this arm is killed here, okay, I'll just do a slight bump, get it back, and I'll drape this hand between his legs, okay, so right hand finds the heel, I want to make sure that my right hip is beside his right knee and I'll turn slightly onto my side. So when I straighten this leg and I push his leg as, far, as close to mine as I can, I'm, I'm immediately stepping over and hooking that leg. But now I haven't got the underhook, so this arm is trapped. Okay? I keep this foot on the mat and I just bridge all the way forward. There's an, a chance of an arm triangle here, which we'll look at next week. And I'm going to bring this back inside and I want the underhook. Okay? I make my adjustment to get my leech hook. Old school, sir. So stick his leg out. If, if, it's, if he hasn't got the wizard on, I'm immediately putting the girl sweep. The minute he posts that hand, I'm just coming out the back door. He knows jiu jitsu, he's turtling. Okay? So I still have the grip on the belt. Post the hand on the mat. I bring my right knee beside his right knee. I get my hook in, I can just extend this leg up and a windshield wiper with my foot inside, harness control, and I use that to tilt them on this right side as I move my hip back, creating space, harness position. Maybe he hasn't that arm killed, so I'm just in boxing hand position, it's even easier then. So. Turning slightly onto my side to get this hand here between his legs. Detail of keeping my hip beside his right knee. And I'll turn my hip slightly so when I straighten my right leg and I push his foot to get his leg as close to mine and I just hook it. Okay. Now I need to get the underhook so I'll just kind of bridge. Look at the arm triangle next time. I bring this underneath and I win the underhook. Now I'm immediately, so doing those pressures. Heel back, knee down against the hip. Old school's there, but if I, as I go to grab it, he posts his leg. Now I'm thinking of the Nagara sweep, but as I move my hips under his, he posts with his hand. So I just come out the back door. If he leaves this massive space in, I can just grab the back of the collar, stick my hook in, and I'm in to the back. Or 
from that position. Again, sometimes people are heavy on this leg and you try to lift this up and it's not going to happen. So I can still keep my harness control. But I like this leech hook. I lift it up and I use that to tilt him onto his right side. And as I do, I just drag my right knee under his right knee and into the back as well. So there's a couple of different entrances into it. So let's drill for five guys, yeah. 